might need to use your, since we're battling the elements tonight. Yeah. Uh, I might need to use your uh, dishcloth to wipe the camera from time to time. What's up, Justin? Hey, Durrett. Happy birthday, buddy. Hey, Katie, I just uh, enjoyed my Delta Cat. We're doing some vino with this one tonight, but I always have to have a little bit of a Delta Cat before we get rolling while we're firing the grill up. Hey, Zakid. Hey, Sally. Uh, you definitely got to get a green egg. And if you get one, go to Germantown Hardware. Justin, we're having a, we're going to do a rack of lamb, and then we're making what's called Hasselback potatoes from Sweden. They're pretty interesting. It's our buddy Emily. All right, we'll give it about a minute here. Delta Cat is the best, Katie. I hadn't found a beer that I've enjoyed more. Hey, Libby. Hey, Sal. There's Melissa. Melissa, I saw your salad today on Facebook. A little cucumber. It looked good. Hi, Kay. Look at that, Matt Heineman. Hey, Matt. All right, so I don't know if this is Matt or his wife, but Matt, we have a game that we play, and Dirt will tell you, anyone that was a Fidel that watches Rudisil or everything, I guess bond numbers. So I'm going to take a guess. Hey, Caroline. I'm going to take a guess. Don't tell me what your bond number is. Uh, I have to do this every night till I get it. So I was uh, 1353. So, Matt, I'm going to guess you at 1361. So, comment yes, no, and we go from there. Hey, Veronica. Uh, hey, friends, let's get going. Hey, we number? figured out the. No? Um, we figured out the uh, Facebook Live yeah, scenario tonight. To it, the glitch is gone. The glitch is gone. So Larkin and his OCD self doesn't have to use my phone yes. to record this video since his is like a one, two or three months more um, sophisticated than mine. Two or Sorry. three months or years? I don't know. Hamas Tyler. <laughs> All right, so let's get going. So uh, what are we doing I tonight? Need we have had a lot of requests for lamb. Uh, we had a lot of them last night, uh, so we got online this morning, did our Instacart, went to Fresh Market, and got a really nice uh, rack of lamb. We kind of got a little, I didn't cut that off, I maybe should have, but uh, we got a really pretty rack of lamb. It is French, okay, which means they've cleaned it off, but and my cuts weren't the best. I, I did go down a little bit further and removed a little bit more of that fat off of this lamb. Uh, up on those bones to kind of clean them up a little bit. Um, I didn't really remove anything. We've got a little bit of that skin, a little bit of fat. Uh, we're not going to mess with any of that. Um, so we're going to get this thing. Donnie Orr uh, says hello. What's up, is. Larkin? Donnie Orr? Hey. Uh, yeah, what's up, Larkin? What's up, guys? What's going on, bro? Hey, Michael. Hey, Michael. Um, so we've got our thing. Now, here's a new thing that I've never seen before, um, which might become my new favorite product. I don't know. This was from Fresh Market. This is a rosemary herb sea salt. Uh, it's one of the grinders, and it has sea salt with rosemary, thyme, and basil. And I thought it looked fantastic. So uh, when we're doing lamb, we're gonna do this. So we've cleaned it up. We've got our cast iron in the egg. Um, I'm gonna take this now, and I'm gonna put a little heavy coat of this herb salt on there. All right, we don't have to go crazy because we're going to come back with another little mixture here in a minute. But we're not going to waste any of that. So on this back side, we're going to kind of scrape our board, get some of that off. Now, this is just salt, so we're going to add a little bit of cracked black pepper on there. Let me know if Matt Heineman comments on his bond number. If I was close, up, down, what I need to do. Cat. Yeah. Okay. 10-4. All right, so we've got that herbed sea salt, little fresh cracked black pepper. And as I said, we're about 550 on the egg. 
That hey, cast Michael. iron is nice and hot. And what we're wanting to do is we want to get a nice sear on the outside of this on the outside of this lamb. All right, so we're just going to take this. Antisi has to be an Italian name. Michael Absolutely. Antisi. Michael Antisi. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so we're good and coated there. Get a little more rub. We're going to lay this right in. We're going to shut the lid. And give it a little wipe. So... If any of y'all saw kind of the, I usually po I post every day what we're doing. We're doing Hasselback potatoes. I've seen images of these uh, a lot of places. I've never done them before. They looked really interesting, so I thought tonight would be the perfect time to do it. So I'll explain it in a second. So we have a russet potato, just an old bacon potato, nothing uh, fancy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of turn it up on its side and make a little small cut like that, and the only reason I did that is to give myself a good base so it's not moving around when I go to cut What happens it. So, to that guy? You just pitch him? Yeah, we just pitch him. Okay. He gone. Oh. Um, so now what we want to do is, this is the interesting part, we're going to make little incisions all the way across this, but not all the way through, okay? Three-fourths of the way through. Um, and I'll show you what we're going to do. Probably not doing this the best for y'all. Well, I can't it. see. Yeah, so. So he's not cutting all the way through, no, guys. He's but, just doing it to, like, yeah. when you cut bread. Yeah, kind of how you do bread. For, the, good. For, the, for the layman folks like me, this is how I do bread when I want to add just a tiny bit of butter yeah. in between each slice. So what this creates is kind of like an accordion, kind of like an accordion, on the potato okay and so what we're going to do on that is now we're going to take a little bit of olive oil oh maybe we should have brought the tin out larky maybe so we might have to do the pop-up here on y'all in a second so we're going to rub some of that oil in there get it in the different spots all right and good idea good old... katie <laughs> We got a little bit of black pepper. I saw on the Food Network to put two wooden spoons besides the potato for cutting guides. Well, you, I saw that too. That helps you not go all the way through the potato, okay? So we're gonna take this potato, we've got our seasoning, we're gonna set it right on the egg. I think so. Right. Oh, poor Melissa, it's now, snow. Well, I'm battling the elements right now. Through I got the magic of pre-cooking, we have pre-cooked some of these Hasselbacks. You can see how they're spread apart. We've got our crust on top. All right, I'm going to take these. They're, they're crispy on the outside, creamy on the inside. They begin to fall open and loosen up. So this is what it'll look like. So I'm going to lay these right on the grill, but we still got to finish these off uh, here in just a minute. So I'll show you how we're going to do that. But... For the meantime, we're just gonna, we do have the diffuser plate in, so we don't have to worry about flames. Hey, Ann. So we do have our pop-up tent up. We might have to interrupt the video slightly uh, in the event that it starts raining a little bit harder, but. Yeah. You know, uh, so let's check my on. husband isn't Dave Brown. He's a chef, and so he, uh, he, he thinks he can read the weather, but unfortunately, unfortunately that's not his, his no. expertise. No. All right, so we're still going to keep searing that one side. We've got our potato. You saw the little slice on it. Uh, kind of fan it open. Uh, get it ready to go. Put a little olive oil, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Uh, now what we need to do is we put this really interesting new product, like I said, the rosemary herb salt. We put that on the... That's what we use for our salt and pepper. But we want to have a little bit of a, of a rub that we're going to put on this salmon. So we might want to do that just there okay, we go. Honey. A little bit that way. Um, so what do I have here? I have a little bit of fresh rosemary and a little bit of fresh thyme. I have a little bit of 
of chopped garlic. We got all kinds of activity going on. Live I mean, TV is on, scary. We are the best. We are the best food show on the internet, hands down. A uh, little bit of chopped garlic. <laughs> hey, Alan. And I've got a little bit of Dijon mustard. Okay. So what I want to do is, I'm going to take these fresh herbs out. <laughs> I'm going to wipe my knife off here, and we're going to get just a good chop on these fresh herbs. Okay? I picked, you know, kind of peeled everything off the stem, stripped down that thyme. You know, that's how you get the thyme off. You know, you kind of lift it up, strip it down, do that, get those thyme leaves off. All right, so we've got a nice chop on that. I've got a little uh, bowl here that's become just a little bit down. We're going to put some of those fresh herbs in. I'm going to save this other one for just a minute when we're going to do something. It might be time for a blooper reel. Jeez. We're not bloopers. We're not making, I mean, you know. No, I got, might be time for a blooper reel is all. We're going to put a little bit of chopped garlic, about one tablespoon in there. We're going to put about one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Yum. Okay. And then we're going to put just a touch of olive oil in there. Probably half a tablespoon. Thank you. We're going to give that a mix. Now, I'm not adding any salt and pepper to this because we have that herb sea salt and that black pepper on there. But you can see we've got just a nice little mix that we're putting on there that we're going to glaze on top of this, uh, on top of this lamb. So, let's check it. We're going to be ready to Oh yeah, I love that. You think we should move up under the tent? Whenever you have a second, maybe we should move up under the tent. You can see that. Beautiful. I think we're all right. As long as you're you're good. Oh, I'm. I'm. Can you great. see that? I just want to make sure. Good color on there. Yeah, it's so beautiful. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little mixture that we just made and we're gonna smear that right over the top of this beautiful rack of lamb. Kind of bring it down in front. Yummy. All right. Yeah, it smells. Smell it. Mmm. It, it does smell good. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take this, because we had already kind of done this side. Alright. I'm going to put that back in there. Potatoes are going. All right, these are heating up. I'm going to close the lid. We're going to crank the heat just a little bit, which means we're going to open it up. We're going to wipe off some of this Dave Brown uh, little bit of uh, water that's around us. You, need every, you know, we're doing this for the folks, for everybody. All right, uh, let's talk about some Dino. Okay. Ready to talk about some vino? I'm ready. All right, so our vino for the night. Uh, and let me make sure I get my good notes ready. Uh, this is a vineyard that is pretty close to Cat and I's heart or palate. Oh, the best Hess. Right. The Hess Collection. Uh, you've probably seen them in the liquor store. They make a ton of different red and white wines. Uh, this is, without a doubt, our favorite. This is Alomi, the Hess Collection, Alomi, Napa Valley, Cab. What, do you, right. what is that rent a bottle, bud? Like 30, 34. Under, under 35, yeah, under, under 35, 35 dollars. dollars. We bottle. got this at Cheers. Good folks at Cheers. So if anybody's ever been lucky enough to travel out to Napa, um, or if you haven't been out to Napa, um, Hess is definitely a uh, spot that you should add to your... Yeah list unbelievable they treated us like rock stars it was fantastic they um have a beautiful art collection about 40 so donald hess uh the owner um has an amazing art collection so when you go to hess in napa valley and you go on a tour uh, the tour includes a walkthrough of his art gallery which is absolutely amazing um, the property is beautiful, and actually the property sits next to Christian the Brothers. old Christian Brothers yeah. Winery. You know, the Christian Brothers mm -hmm. actually had a winery out there, and uh, one of the oldest, I think Zinfandel vines, is still sitting on the corner of that property. But 
Um, so this Hess is absolutely fantastic. Uh, this is grown in Napa Valley um, on a block of about 210 acres. Um, they have it broken down into like 35 acre plots. And on those 35, they do about six different clones of Cabernet grape that are included in this Hess Salome. Uh, great flavors, uh, blackberry, currant, a little bit of vanilla, wonderful tannins, uh, great mouthfeel. It is an absolutely fantastic Cabernet for anything that you're cooking uh, kind of big, a steak uh, like we're doing tonight, a lamb. Uh, we're big fans. So get a bottle of Hess Salome. Uh, I know they sell it. We picked up. ours up at Cheers, but they definitely. Yeah, it's, um, it's sold everywhere. We, we sell it at the restaurant too. Yeah. yeah. Is it so, by the glass or by the bottle? By the bottle. Okay. By the bottle. So uh, definitely uh, love the Hess. All right. So let's check our. Uh, we're about 550. Ellen's been there too. She loves it. Uh, we've got that going perfect. There's so many vineyards out there, y'all. Oh, yeah. And but this is one of the ones that I've been to. Out of I've probably been to ten. And Hess, I think, gives you uh, you get the best bang for your buck yeah, at absolutely. Hess. There's so, because nice the tour is wonderful. Everything. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, we're gonna keep that cooking. Now, I told you we were going to do something different with these potatoes, so hey, that's Tana. what we're going to do now, all right? So we've got a small little skillet here. I'm actually going to put that on the egg, let that start melting. We've got two cloves of garlic, all right? This is how we're going to finish these potatoes. So we're going to take that and just smash it, remove those little cloves out of there. Honey, do you want me to hold this umbrella over you? No, I'm good. And Another little smash. Some s serious rain going on out here right now. Right. We're going to add these into our skillet. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the remainder of this fresh thyme. All right. And uh, rosemary. And then I actually have a couple more fresh sprigs here uh, that we're just going to toss. We're going to toss into our skillet. We're going to give that about uh, 30 seconds to melt, and I'll show you what we're going to do. Do you think we should move the tent over your grill? Maybe that would help. No, there's nothing wrong. I'm good. Okay, just making sure. We got sure. 500 degrees. We're cranking right now. All right, I guess I'm more worried about it than you are. Yeah. Shayef. Yeah. All right. Any questions or anything? Uh, well, kill. absolutely. Let's, Let's see. Go Let's it. go back. So, Jana Herbison says hello. I think this might be her first time watching. Hey, Jana. Ellie loves it. Bell, uh, Beth said this is exciting, so uh, delicious. Um, and we've got comments on the radio, country radio on tonight. Are we going to be allowed to upload this to we YouTube? Will. I mean, we're not that big enough on yeah. YouTube where they check out our channel to see if we're doing that. Katie says you can't take any credit to... Uh, uh, the comment about the potato slicing because she watches way too much Food Network. What, but what does that mean? Katie made the comment about the potatoes and how uh, it help you helps if you hold two wooden spoons on either side. Uh, well, she was so. right. All right, so you can see this rack of lamb. We've got our little thermopin here. We're going to check it. Oh, here's a question. Do yeah. we like thyme with beef? Absolutely. I love thyme with beef. It's fantastic. Little Scrawny. Scrawny is in the house. Hey, Scrawny. Scrawny, are you still at the beach? Social distancing from everyone? So you can see what we've done here. We're creating a skillet with a little bit of butter, a little garlic clove that's mashed. So as it heats up, it releases that flavor. All right. And then uh, we got a little bit of fresh rosemary. A little bit of fresh thyme. I'm going to take some of this juice now and I'm going to put it right over those potatoes. And what's happening is it is getting down in all those crevices that we cut. So it's just glazing the top of those. And it's going to sit. So when you go to cut it, you've got that great herb butter. All right, that's time. I missed that? Yeah. Okay. 
All right, so we're gonna take that off. What's the internal temp um, we're gonna use on, on the, the lamb? lamb. Mm -hmm. We're gonna pull the lamb off at about 125 because it's gonna it's gonna rest and uh, it's gonna come up in temp. So now we got to get to dessert. Sally, I'm not gonna tell them that comment right now. What? What happened? Uh, I can't. It's you know, you'll get to you'll get a your ego will really woo, go through the roof. Okay. Are we using uh, charcoal or gas? We're charcoal. using charcoal. We're on the egg. Oh, they call it, he called it charky. We're not we're not using uh, gas tonight. No, we've never used gas unless we're inside. So I'm gonna go ahead now and pull these potatoes off. Got those great cups in there. You can see how they're open. These are the ones that I had kind of done before. All right, we'll keep those warm. We'll probably drizzle a little bit more of that herbed garlic butter over the top. I've never seen you do potatoes like that. Yeah, they're good. Because we need to work on this dessert. So, we haven't done a dessert in a while. And I wanted to do one, so I was kind of looking around on the internet, thinking, what can we do? And I came across this recipe for the s'mores. And so I figured, let's give that a shot. So, everybody loves s'mores. We got all the kids over here. But this was a s'mores dip uh, that you do in the cast iron, and I thought that looks fantastic. So, we have got our little 10 inch cast iron skillet. And to that, we're gonna add some semi sweet chocolate chips, half a cup. And then we have 14 ounces of Hershey's little chunks, Hershey's bars, milk chocolate, that we are gonna dump in there. Oh, interesting. Huh? I said interesting. Justin says this is what he's been waiting for. What, the dip? The dessert. The dessert? Mm. And then what I'm gonna do is, it didn't really call for this, but I've got like a little bit of cream here. I'm gonna add just a little bit of cream in there. And why do you think that'll make the recipe better? I just think it, that way it's not just straight chocolate. Um, it's kind of, will make it to me a little bit more like a pudding, a little, at least okay. in my mind it would. Okay. All right, so that's all you gotta do on it. You can already see that, that we're already starting to get some melt on there, uh, up on the sides. And uh, to be honest with you, this is a lot quicker and easier then running around the house looking for coat hangers, arguing over who likes their, uh, who likes their, uh, what do you call it? Marshmallow burnt. Who likes burnt. their marshmallow burnt? I don't like mine burnt. Take mine off. Oh, I put that yeah. too close to the flame. Yeah, too much. All right, yeah. so what do we got? Baby marshmallows. Right over the top. Ooh, we got a few stragglers there. All right, I'll take my hand. We're gonna spread those out, and that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna give that a minute here on the egg. We're gonna let that melt down. It's gonna be phenomenal. Our lamb is still going. Karen loves that the cream is in a Moscow Mule Chester cover yeah, well, pot. I had, to, I had to keep it even with my other pots that I have from my We mom. love our little pots. Yeah. Pots. So, Whatever. let me get my little serving tray, and we're gonna be ready to roll. Okay. All right, he's going to get a tray, everybody. I love the Lady A in the background, too. Any other questions? Uh, Beth, Beth loves Moscow Mules. I think we should talk about the uh, restaurant reopening for takeouts yeah, again. Absolutely. Perfect time. Why we let this cook up? So we talked about it last night. Um, you know, we did our part on the COVID deal. We felt it was best to uh, take that little bit of a break, customer-wise, family-wise, staff-wise, community-wise. Community-wise, but I don't think anybody thought it'd be four to five weeks that we would still be doing this. So. 
uh, our kids are driving us crazy here at the house. So try having a conference call with 15 operations yeah. managers and you're all what your kids want to do is go ride a bike. Yeah. So and that was a below average mommy reaction it's, today. It's time to go back to work. So uh, staff's ready to get back into work. Um, so we're going to start Monday night. Uh, we'll go or this week. We'll go Monday through Saturday, 4 to 730. Um, you can call beginning around noon to place your order. We're going to release the menu tomorrow. Yeah, because we don't want to like confuse anybody thinking the restaurant's going to be ready to roll on Saturday. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be important to, you know, if anybody's asking, that's why we don't want to release it. But it's going to be all of your favorites, you yeah. know. All the good, all your favorites. Your favorites. Well, at least all my favorites, at least. Um, so we'll have that up on all the social medias tomorrow. And um, what else will we talk about? Doing a live from the oh, restaurant. Yeah. So we'll be, and then we'll be live from the restaurant Monday night, the first night that we're back doing it. Um, but we are doing curbside. We've got uh, all the people in place. We've got all the precautions in place. Um, so you'll be able to call, place your order starting at noon. Uh, tell us your time you want to pick it up. And uh, we'll have it ready for you. And we look forward to people, you know, coming yeah. up, pull underneath the portico, the covered area. We'll bring it right out to you, run your credit card, bring it back out, and you'll be good to go. I'm going to talk to Larkin about releasing the menu to our uh, loyal viewers on this show prior to you know the public so we'll make sure that we get something posted with his menu yeah. tomorrow if, if, if he's allowing me to speak freely I, yeah. I would like to maybe get that posted tomorrow morning so here's what we got you can already see the golden color going on those marshmallows all right we're gonna let that continue to cook up salmon bruno no however salmon yes we will have salmon not salmon bruno all right you can see the gorgeous Little can you herb. bring that up just a little and move it over to the left? There you go. Little herb crust we have on this. All right, I'm gonna check this. I hope I didn't miss your question, but if I did, it's not intentional. I'm holding an umbrella yeah. and a glass of wine, which to me is slightly more important than hitting the uh, response button, but I'm trying to catch every single one of them. I'm so sorry, it's been a long at... day. We are at 124 degrees on this beautiful rack of okay. lamb. This is the one I showed y'all as a demo. Uh, so we're going to keep that on there. We're going to keep hey, our Jess. s'more dip on because we want that to get a little bit more golden brown. Um, and you might ask, are you going to cut the lamb right now? We're not going to cut it. Uh, tonight you saw how we did it because uh, I want to let this, you know, we haven't had a really nice piece of meat in a long time. And I want to let it actually rest uh, so it's proper. Uh, but what we do is, all right, I have this small, whoop, that's a little dirty. I have this small boning knife, okay? Mm -hmm. So please, if you do something like this, let it rest 15, 20 minutes. Don't cover it. And then what, all you have to do is come down in between these bones, all right, and right in the middle, make your little slices and you've got beautiful bone-in lamb chops uh, to serve everybody, and it'll be beautiful. We had our Hasselback potatoes, so the slice on there, all that herb, butter, little kosher salt, black pepper. Beautiful. Uh, gets in between each one of those slices of potato. And once again, you don't have to give someone an entire potato. Cut into it, give them half, you know, a third of a potato, a half a potato, and you've got plenty. All right. Do we ship any products, spices, etc., out of the local area? I can. We so can. if someone had a request for something, I would be more than happy to do that. All right. You can see our s'mores. Ooh, We're going yummy. super strong in our cast iron. All right. Let me make sure. Damon's going to be mad at me. Wow, because you're not using your gloves? Yeah. You can see that smelling can you wonderful. Bring it up just a little bit and a little closer to the camera. Here you go. So it's like little for everybody. A little bit for everybody. Brown. All right. So it is creamy. It's, it's creamy. not. So will that like harden up at yeah, all? Yeah. As we take it off the heat, it'll set. We've got our graham crackers. So we've got our beautiful Hasselback potatoes. We've got our rack of lamb uh, with a little bit of a Dijon mustard herb crust. Uh, the potatoes with a little olive oil and fresh herbs. We have our beautiful glass of Hess Alomi Cab. All right. And uh, 
that's going to be it for us. We've bat we've battled the elements. It's been an interesting evening. We're just uh, happy to be like on yeah. a normal recording, uh, not having mm -hmm. to look at something. The phone's yeah. working properly. Uh, you know, we're going to let this lamb rest for about 15, 20 minutes. We're going to slice into it. Uh, I think we have uh, some sort of pasta casserole in the uh, from Costco in the oven for the kids because they'll probably yell at us if we try to make them eat this. Yeah. Well, um, there's only like whatever yeah, five, five little pieces, bones, so but yeah, not we'll, be huge. somebody asked to cut. We'll cut. Um, we'll cut this up. I'll record Larkin cutting this up, and I'll and I'll post it a, a little yeah. bit later. Yeah. Well, that, that'd be a good idea. We'll yeah. post the cut up. I just want to let it rest properly. Uh, to do that. So once again, thank y'all. This might have been a little erratic tonight. It started raining. We're trying to pop tents, put umbrellas. Love you, uh, friends. Do all that. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, check us out on the social medias, Cooking with Larkin on Instagram. Uh, we crossed a milestone. We are over, like, almost over 175 oh, now. Fancy. I actually have more on that than on my personal, so that's good. Check out the YouTube channel and uh, look for the menu to be posted. Uh, about Monday night and call and get an order and watch the broadcast live Monday night from the restaurant. Oh yeah. Cheers. Cheers.